Welcome back. When we talk about Gaiwan or Yixin Tea Pot, we often say this is the traditional way Chinese people drink tea. This is actually a huge generalization, akin to talking about Chinese food as if there was only one type. Of course, there are many types of Chinese food. Spicy styles like Sichuan and Hunan, flavorful but mild Cantonese styles, and many, many more. And just like one type of food isn't eaten by all Chinese, one way of making tea isn't used by all Chinese. In China, we have many different types of people or cultures. Today, we're going to see how the Bai people prepare and drink tea. It's called a three-course tea. This is how they would prepare tea at home when they have important guests. I saw this tea ceremony in Dali, where there are many Bai people. So let's get started by seeing what they use to make three-course tea. So this tea is fundamentally a boiling tea, meaning the tea is boiled in water rather than steeped in hot water. Everything is heated on charcoal fire here, and we also have a little clay pot and kettles that will be used later to prepare the teas. So that's the basic setup. As for the ingredients, some are boiled in the water, and some are used afterward. They have walnuts, Sichuan peppercorns, and cinnamon sticks on the plate there, and ginger. This is the green tea that will be used in the courses. Here is brown sugar and a unique local snack called Rushan, which is a high-fat dairy product made from milk skin. This is a very well-known local snack and definitely something to be tried if you ever visit the area. You see it in other dishes or as a snack, not just in three-course tea. There is also white sugar and honey, so you can see it will be somewhat sweetened. But before we get to the sweet courses, we have to start with the first course called bitter tea. For bitter tea. The green tea is put into the little pot I showed you earlier, and it's basically roasted. As it's roasting, they have to shake the tea so it's cooked evenly. For this reason, it's also called a hundred shakes tea, bai dou cha. This just toasts the tea so it's slightly yellowed, and not quite burned, but a caramel smell comes out. I was sitting in the first row for this presentation, so I could really smell the aroma as the tea was getting roasted, and it was quite pleasant. As soon as the tea leaves are finished roasting, they pour hot water in the extremely hot pot, which creates a loud sizzling sound, as you can imagine. They actually call this thunder sound tea, lei xiang cha, and this is how they brew the tea. After they brew that, the bitter tea course will be served up for the guests. After the bitter tea, it's time for the sweet tea course. For this course, they add a good amount of sugar to the pot as well as some brown sugar. There is also ginger. The tea will be boiled for a few minutes till it's done. They also put the local dairy rushan and some slice of walnut in the cup before they pour in the tea. These can actually be eaten while drinking the tea, so you have your snacks right in your cup. The last course is called a lingering tea. It's also a sweetened tea, as you can see. They put sugar and honey, and there is also ginger. What really makes this course different from the other courses is the special ingredients: the Sichuan peppercorn and cinnamon. For those who have never tasted Sichuan peppercorn, it has a numbing sensation rather than a hot sensation. Once all the ingredients are added, they boil the tea for a few more moments, and then serve it up. So here you have it: three courses of tea: bitter tea, sweet tea, and lingering tea. You can see the walnut slices and rushan in the sweet tea there. The three courses of three-course tea are also a metaphor for life. You have to experience the bitter before you can enjoy the sweet, and at the end, everything becomes a return lingering flavor. You may have noticed that this tea ceremony was a performance that we were watching, and not a home setting as it's supposed to be. That's because we couldn't find anyone who still does this ceremony for their guests. It's something everybody knows about, but they don't do it much now. So we had to go to a show at the Yan family, a family with a close relationship with tea. In fact, this family invented the tall-shaped tea pot that some of you may know. So it was a little bit sad that this could only be experienced in a show, 
My mom was here about 15 years ago, and she was able to enjoy the ceremony in local people's home. I hope this piece of tea culture can hang on because it's always nice to see how different cultures enjoy their tea. I hope you like the Bai People's Three Course Tea Ceremony. So please give the video a thumb up, subscribe to our channel, and follow us on social media for fun tea stuff. And don't forget to check out our website for some amazing tasting great teas. See you next time. Thank you.